Hi everyone, I'm so excited to finally start Excel Dictionary's official YouTube channel. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, so I'm so excited to finally get started. If you guys have any video requests, any tutorials you want to see, comment below, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I created this account ultimately to teach you guys even more about Excel, so let's get started. If you guys have seen my TikToks before, you know that I post a lot about Flashville. Flashville is probably my favorite Excel tool, and I see a lot of your comments asking for a more detailed explanation. So we are going to dive into that today. So Flashville is a built-in Excel tool that automatically fills columns with data when a pattern is sensed. And now there are two different ways that you can flash fill a column. The first way is that you're going to go to the data tab and then click flash fill right here under data tools or the second way is you can use the keyboard shortcut which is control e and that's what i typically do so let's look at an example of on how flash fill works so as you can see on my screen i have a very large list of full names and i want to separate the first name and the last name into separate columns so typically you would have to use complex text functions to separate the names out but we can actually use Flashville and not have to write any formulas at all. Let me show you how. So all you would have to do is go to the column to the right of the name and type the first name, hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville automatically filled the columns with all the first names. Let's repeat this for the last name. So go over one more column to the right, type the last name, hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville automatically separate, separated the names out in separate columns for us in just a few seconds. So not only can Flashville be used to separate data into columns, but it can actually be used to combine data into one column. So let's look at another example. Here on my screen, I have first name and last name in separate columns, and I wanna actually combine the names back into one column. We can do this using Flashville. All you have to do is go to the column to the right of the first and last name and then type the full name in the cell. And then hit enter and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville automatically filled the column with the first and last name. Another really cool feature of Flashville is you can actually extract the initials from full names. So all I would ha have to do to do this is type the initials of the full name. So EC hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville extracted the initials from all the full names and filled it down the column. So not only does Flashville work with text values, it also works with numbers. Let's look at another example. So in this example, I have a very large list of data with the date and time formatted in one cell. So let's say that I wanna separate out the date and time to create different charts and graphs using the data. I can actually do this using Flashville. So all I would have to do is go to the column to the right of the data and then simply type in the date. So 5, 5, 20, 21, hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville automatically filled the date down the column. Let's repeat this for the time. So all you would have to do is go one column to the right from the date and then type in the time. So 10, 01 AM, hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville actually separated the date and time out for us in just a few seconds. So not only can Flashville be used to separate data and combine data back together, but it can also be used to reformat data. Let's look at another example. So in this example, I have a very large list of names and I wanna reformat all these names into uppercase and then also reformat them into lowercase. So you could use the upper and lower functions to do this, but another quick option would be to use Flashville to reformat the data. So all you would have to do is go one column to the right of the name and retype the name in uppercase format, hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville automatically reformatted all the data for us. Let's try this again in lowercase format. So all you would have to do is go one more row to the right Type the name in lowercase, hit enter, and then hit control E. 
And as you can see, Flash Fill really quickly reformatted all the names into lowercase format as well. So another really cool feature of Flash Fill is its ability to add text strings to data. Let's look at another example. So in this example, I have a very large list of employee names, and I actually want to generate an email list using these names in the email format of first initial dot last name at exceldictionary.com. So I can actually use Flashfill to do this. All I would have to do is go one column to the right of the name and type the email address in the format that I want it in. So I'm going to type an apostrophe first to format the email address as a text value. If I don't do this, it'll add a hyperlink to each email address and will take Flashfill a lot longer to fill. So after I type the apostrophe, I'm going to type the email address in the format that I want it in. So first initial dot last name at exceldictionary.com. And then all I'm going to do is hit enter and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashville reformatted all the employee names in the first initial dot last name email address format in just a few seconds. So one last feature of Flashfill, and probably my favorite feature, is its ability to extract data from text strings. Let's look at an example. So in this example, I have a really long list of email addresses, and I want to extract the name in the company that the person works for from the email address. So I can actually do that using Flashfill. All I would have to do is go one column to the right of the email address and type the person's name hit enter, and then hit control E. And as you can see, Flashfill automatically extracted the person's first and last name from the email address. Let's try this for the company. So all I would have to do is go one more column to the right and type the company name. So rocks and socks, and I made this company up, so do not try to look it up. Hit enter, hit control E, and as you can see, once again, Flashfill automatically extracted the company that the person works for from the email address and filled it down the column. One really important thing to remember when using Excel's Flashfill tool is you have to use the columns directly to the right of the data. If you don't do this, Excel won't be able to recognize the pattern in the data and Flashfill will not work. So for example, if I go out to column F and try to type the first and last name, Hit enter and hit control E, an error message will pop up. So if you aren't using the columns to the right of the data, Flashfill will not work. So another really important thing to remember when using Flashfill is that there has to be a pattern in the data in order for it to work. So let's look back at this example. If all of these email addresses were in different email formats, Flashfill would not work. So if Mike James had a dash instead of a period to separate his name, Excel wouldn't be able to recognize the pattern in this data and Flashfill wouldn't work. As you can see, Flashfill is an extremely powerful built-in Excel tool that will save you tons of time when analyzing data. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the examples that I shared in this video and I hope my Flashfill TikToks make a little bit more sense now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips.